Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jade Ramirez. I'm Nasir Madison. Nolan Turner. And this is our project on phytoremediation, plants and heavy metals. Our hypothesis is that the, color, the dye that we use to represent um, metals in sunflowers are going to be completely gone by the time our project is finished. The problem for a solution is that while metals have existed in soil from natural and industrial waste, the industrial waste caused the soil has caused the soil to be contaminated due to the amount of metal. And, and now we have to clean the contaminated soil. That's something for the metal. A lot of you might be wondering, what is phytoremediation? By the show of hands, how many can how many of you can guess like what phytoremediation is? Like by a show of hands. Not a lot, not a lot of hands. I see only like one or two to three. So the definition of phytoremediation is a process of extracting heavy metals and toxins from soil with the use of greeny plants. So plants actually, like some plants could actually have the ability to uh, extract uh, contaminants from soil and water. And it's actually crazy because those, these are plants that we could even grow in our own homes. Like for example, a sunflower. So the process of phytoremediation. So as you can see by the image here, you see the contaminants on the, on the dirt, like copper, zinc, uh, cadmium, and aluminum. So what a sunflower or uh, plants like willows, or they absorb the, the contaminants through the soil and they keep it in their leaves. Eventually these plants will rot by the time that uh, the contaminants are gone, but it does remove and gradually does like remove all contaminants from soil. Uh, these are images of what we based our project on. And here we have cups of water and liquid, and you can see that there are uranium in it. But uranium is very toxic, so we chose to use dye to represent the, the contaminants in soil and water. So this is our procedure. So first, we planted sunflower seeds. We waited one to three weeks for them to grow. Next, we put them in cups of water. We put the liquids and placed the metals, quote unquote, in the in the water. We tested and recorded it. We placed the sunflower freeze, waited a week, tested the water again, and then recorded our results. The materials that we used for our project were copper, zinc, mercury, nickel, ammonia, water, sunflower seeds, cups, hydro, the hydroponic lab, time, and the heavy metal analyzer. This is also a design that we based up a project upon, uh, but it's in a grander scheme of things. Like in a farm, for example, uh, they, will, they would use um, plants like sunflowers to extract chem contaminants in, uh, in the soil. And these are images of our experiment. Uh, this is uh, us in the, the water tower uh, growing sunflower seeds. And this is the data that we collected over time. Correlation of light and concentration in leaves, various sunflower variations of con the concentration in, of the soil that were plotted in. And over time, uh, the sunflowers have like gradually removed the, the contaminants of uh, lead. Our experiment was successful. After constantly sticking to the procedure, the soil was brought back to health. And <laughs> using the heavy metal analyzer from before and after the sun, the sunflower, the sunflower have extracted uh, the metals that we have said in the materials in the beginning. These are our sources. Thank you.